we are in Nairobi. There is cessation of movement in and out of Nairobi. Um, but there's a lot happening in City Hall, the heart. I mean, we don't need to move out of Nairobi to find out what's going on there. Gashuri, uh, the deed was done, but the guy who signed the deed is indeed not very sure whether he knew what he was signing. He actually said, the Wait, governor... What, what was that joke about? If so-and-so did it, then I did it. Who was that? Who said that? I, it just came to mind. There's an economist who was saying, if Zimbabwe did it, we can also do it. We can also did it, yeah, but <laughs> clearly... So, so, so the governor <laughs> is saying in broad daylight that, well, th there are some people, he's saying greedy people around the president. He's saying, oh, you know, I know the president meant well when we were transferring these functions, but now there are some people around the president who are frustrating me. I want to pull out of this thing. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know what I was signing. I just, I didn't read it properly. I just signed it because I was told it was good for Nairobi <laughs> at a time when I was handling all these cases I was dealing with. It doesn't get more interesting than that. Well, the, stranger than fiction, they say. Absolutely, and this first is a very worrying trend. Worrying in the sense that, how is it that you can sign a document whose content you don't understand, whose implications you're not aware, whose consequences you don't know. There's a problem there. Because that decision, that by, by that stroke of a pen, um, very many things happen and very monumental things happen. Actually, precedence setting. Mm. Because there's no other county that has transferred functions to the national government. The national government has not transferred any of its functions to, <laughs> to any, any county, county government. Yeah. So what happened was very, very important. It is something that ought to have been done in such a way that you understand the consequences clearly and candidly. Put it this way. The governor of Nairobi was cornered. He was played a good one. He signed a document that he was not aware of. In fact, I even dare say, probably was not even aware of the making of that document. It was presented to him as a surprise. And he says he doesn't even have a copy. Yeah, I can share a copy. I have one here. Yeah. It, it was it was it was a it was a, it was a it was a surprise. It was a surprise to him like it was to many people. And probably there are quite a number of people who are aware of what was happening in terms of the preparation of that document. I am surprised that he didn't know. When it was reported in the media that the governor was called and fifteen minutes and was told go come dressed in a suit and he was made to sign a document he refuted that argument yes. on 26th of That's february 2020 right. in a statement he told us he's the one who initiated mm -hmm. the transfer of deed that actually he he told to us benchmarking yeah, around yeah. the world to so see yeah. what is, is it what is this that was benchmarked what is this that was initiated that is now not he's not aware of now there's a there's a problem there and it will be a very difficult process to get out of that um, uh, deed of transfer because it's a two-year, 24-month um, uh, decision, 24-month contract, and there are mechanisms, clear ones, on how to get out of it that must involve a mutual agreement between the national government and the county government. And in the event there is a dispute, take it to the summit, a summit chaired by the president who heads the national government that is a partner in the deed of transfer it can get more convoluted than that but but, but linas what what is this i mean this is, <laughs> i i was quite puzzled myself to hear the governor of, of of the city county of nairobi saying that he signed something whose content he wasn't sure about at a time when everybody was yeah. complaining yes. about public participation mm -hmm. and he everybody said well maybe you were coerced into this thing he said no no no, no, no i wasn't i mean uh, uh, we have been doing this going around the world looking at how major cities like nairobi uh, work and all of that and he actually told the residents of nairobi that he went into this consciously he knew exactly what he was doing that this is the best thing that could ever have happened to nairobi and now uh, he comes barely a month and something uh, later to say that uh, uh, he wants to pull out and he says he didn't even know like this ought to have serious consequences if our society functioned the way uh, normal societies ought to function this is pure politics the Kenyan way in my interpretation I don't believe that uh, 
Governor Mike Sonko did not understand what he was doing. Even as I really try not to accuse him of reading the document, but I'm very sure <laughs> he understood what the consequences of that were. Because what basically the national government was saying was, you are overburdened and we need to bring help in form of the Nairobi Metropolitan Services function. If you look at it in context of the current politics, the governor made this statement after holding some political meeting with the deputy president, uh, William Ruto, just in the course of the week. I have no idea whether that was discussed, but politics is a game of um, bargain. It's a hostage-taking game sometimes. You know, you put uh, someone or your opponents in a difficult uh, position. Remember very well, this is the same governor who a few days ago refused to sign the supplementary budget. The supplementary yes. budget yep. Because that is now trying to basically put up a game on the table and frustrate a, a state house. But his hand is completely weakened. I mean, if you think about it, what, it is, and what, I think, what, lever what do? leverage does he have? Yeah. He doesn't not, not, not much, yeah. not much. What, will, what this will do is now state house and the NMS will go for the kill. Because I think it had been a gentleman's sort of coexistence. Right. Let's agree to, to live together, basically. We help you with these functions, we take control of these functions, and you remain governor. Remember very well the chronological flow of events. At the time NMS came to place, Mike Sonko was fighting a, a battle in court. And an impeachment. And an sure. impeachment as well. Basically, in, in, in other democracies, by the way, Mike Sonko would not be in a position to be governor today. That's right. Mm. He, he doesn't have the moral standing because of the court cases that he is facing, the impeachment. Basically, he's in no position to be governor of Nairobi. So this was a compromise arrangement. And what he is doing will only spur the other side to fight. So we'll see a more assertive NMS. We'll see a more nas uh, assertive national government. We may not hear President Uhuru Kenyatta, but we will hear his system addressing this in terms of basically getting Mike Sonko to cooperate with the NMS. Finally, Mike Sonko needs to be watching as well on the popularity bit. How popular is, are the steps that he is taking? Because normally in politics, it's when you know that you can cause a bit of movement, including um, some movement in the streets. L right now, he doesn't have that leverage, Joe, that, that you are referring to. He doesn't have any leverage. Mm -hmm. He's actually fighting this from a very weakened position. And it's very, very easy for the forces behind NMS, and that's the national government, to strike Mike Sonko harder and more ruthlessly. Uh, for me, I think um, this deal um, was actually the better deal for Sonko himself as a person because like we've all said it allowed him the opportunity to deal with his court cases still remain governor I mean he got to you know have his cake and eat it at the same time and mm. now suddenly he finds he doesn't it like was that. a sweet deal he was it was a very sweet deal and suddenly he finds it you know rather uncomfortable here's what I find very ironic in just about every statement that he made on Facebook so he says, um, I was just told it's a good thing on service delivery to the great people of Nairobi as I deal with my court cases. And since I love you people of Nairobi and I have your interests at heart, I had to accept it without even going through the document thoroughly. Oh, really? I didn't know it'll turn against us. If you loved us this much, you'd have gone through the document. But then he goes on to say, um, please forgive me, I will never repeat that mistake again. I think it's fast. In fact, I'm starting the process of terminating the deed of transfer. You know, as who? I will now personally go to court so to like, have it like, terminated. Let them kill me or jail me. And this is what we're talking about, that leverage that he no longer has. I mean, you know, all of this money um, and all the important services are now being provided by a separate entity. And suddenly I think he realizes that, listen, you know, that is what you'd have used as a re-election campaign to see, you see, you know, I did this for you, you know, I sorted out waste. 
and now suddenly he doesn't have that. I mean, and, and for and me, it's like gear. we're in the twilight and it, and it zone of politics. It, it, and, and I would I not be surprised, seen, actually, yeah. if people are seriously undermining him now, because, I mean, his authority has diminished, so there might be people there that he used to order around, and he doesn't yeah, have that he, lever he cannot, anymore. Yeah. So it seems to me that he's someone who got into a stupor because of the kind of yes. the pressure he Power, was under with yeah. all the, yeah. the, the cases and everything, yeah. and he got into a moment where he didn't quite think about what was going on. And then he, he, suddenly he wakes up because he thought that things would continue as normal, and then suddenly he realizes that the power that he used to wield has actually has, shifted yeah. to a new entity, listen, me, and he doesn't have any way of getting it back. My, my final thing is that, listen, if, if Nairobians and others in other counties don't take this as a lesson, honestly, I don't know when we will ever learn. Which this, Nairobians? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the the, the 800,000 yeah, of them plus voted who voted for him? for him, yes. I mean, because this, this, you know, we've seen politics of betrayal and all of these things. But for me, I think this is just the most remarkable it's thing. Evolved, there is a a reason. If we don't learn from this, I don't think we ever will. There, there is a reason in the, in, the, in the statement you read earlier. There is a reason Sonko writes that way, including saying things like, let, let me be killed. Uh, I love you people. Because he's speaking to his constituency, and he's got a serious constituency in Nairobi, mm -hmm. we ought to uh, give it to him. His politics, his career basically rests on populist politics, and he's done it so well, starting from becoming a member of parliament for Makadara, moving on to become senator, yeah. and now governor. governor. Mm -hmm. Just this week, uh, curiously, and I was even asking in our newsroom, whether the initiative to, to uh, spray the city was personal or county government? Well, but it was Sonko, personal because yeah, it was the Sonko 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 rescue team. Re rescue team. Mm. His safety net has always been populist politics, has always been the numbers that he can uh, call out. But he's tested that and it did not work during his court case. And if you remember, there was quite a bit of a lockdown in this town when he was being uh, yeah. uh, taken to court. Because that is, that is a politician's refuge. The numbers, the people are out there, which is why he talk, he's talking of love and all that. But even for his base, NMS, Nairobi is too complicated an affair. Yeah. It's, not, yeah. it's not the usual thing. And, and he can do sanitizers, can, but yeah. not NMS with that kind of, makes uh, me, of appeal. Makes me wonder yeah. how many other contracts or documents he has signed in the past without reading. I mean, hey. But see, he loves, he loves you people. Okay. But, uh, it's I love that he loves us love enough love can to conquer care about all. the implications of anything he's getting. No, 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 love will conquer all in our on, on a very serious note, there are two important issues here. Number one, you see, resources and functions are the basis for power. Yeah. If resources are taken away from you and functions are taken away from you, you it have? renders you powerless. And that is exactly what's happening in Nairobi. Look at the functions that were taken away. Those are the core functions. Those are what defines account to government per se. So if those are taken away and resources are also taken away, including levying of taxes, I mean, this is now a function of Kenya Revenue Authority in Nairobi. You no longer control that revenue. It means you, you, th those very important <coughs> things that you used to do using that money are, not, you're, are no longer in your purview. Number two, functions are also related to workforce. You remember that memo? That, that statement that he made when um, people were called to Uhuru Park to go and pick their, their, their letters, the previous day he issued a statement that you guys don't go. What happened? They went. Because this is a situation where as an employee, you realize this is about you. It is about your letter, so you must go and pick it. If you don't, then you will be told you didn't, so your opportunity is given to another person. That should have been the first point of concern for him. Number two, look at what is happening in the County Assembly of Nairobi. The a majority of the MCAs have turned their back on him. So you, you're losing things gradually. And lastly, it is important to look at the footage when that de de deal was being signed. Did you read the he, body language of the was president? Subdued. was like, yeah, Sign it. Let's, it let me see what, you know? Yeah. It, it should have been very clear from the onset that this was not a very easy situation for him. It was not going to get any comfortable for him. And it's all clear now. It was signed at State House. Yeah. Places. Okay. I mean, he should have known, like, you know. I, okay. I think the, sh the question should arise also of what uh, Sonko's options are at, the, at this time. 
Uh, and in my view, there was a time he was operating from uh, more, more from Hills. More Hills. More Hills. Yeah. This is the best time to revert to that, work from home, and figure things out slowly as to what the NMS is up to. Uh, because, first of all, these are two parallel conversations. NMS is not having a political conversation. No. Yeah. Uh, so, so don't. That's why they have an army, a an military person, an, an at administrative the helm. one, right. yeah. complete with a, a military officer uh, who speaks very little. So, <laughs> the, <laughs> there is there is futility in, in trying to argue with him. Argue with him. Yes. Okay, and it's this is an, and this, it's by then, this is an officer. It's first. It is also important to look at the rank. I mean, yeah. this is a major general. Right. It's not a small officer. So this is a guy that will simply tell you. I, I only res respond to the commander in chief. But that's and, exactly and, what he told him. He told him, "You signed the deed." Yeah, and we're moving. So, forward. so it becomes a very problematic situation. And this is not an officer who resigned from the military. He's not a civilian. Yeah. He's still in in the force. So he's basically on secondment and t taking a duty that was given by the commander in chief. So he will simply tell you your concerns, please address them to the commander in chief. He's basically telling you, take it to the president. Whether the transfer of functions was a good thing or a bad thing is a it's different discussion. discussion altogether. And what it means for other counties in the future and the future of devolution, that's a different matter altogether. See what Antonio Luch, the member of parliament for Madare is saying. Article 187, sections 23 and 26 of the Intergovernmental Relations Act refers to two levels of government. The same way Sonko agrees to an agreement for transfer without prior public participation is the same way he wants to pull out. Nairobians should not allow this. So there's the law and there's the politics. Okay, um, we need to wind yes, up now. Just yeah. one last thing. Did, did they say that the NMS deal is renewable after two years? Possibly. Yes. yes. So if you Takes think you about the, the options, timing. Yes, and if you think about the options for yeah. Sonko, um, what are the chances that, I mean, they have always wanted to turn Nairobi into this metropolis and, uh, you know, to function pretty much like Washington, D.C., that it's not a county, um, you know, like the others because of its Nairobi's special status of being a capital and all the other justifications mm -hmm. they gave. So, I mean, Sonko really needs to rethink I remember two what years, happens in 2022 20, because 20, he might have to buy for another Two seat. years takes us to 2022. Absolutely. Yep. And remember, if things worked the way they they were going before COVID-19 came. Uh, oh, wow. Look at the drafts that you were talking about, the yes. BBI drafts. They were all talking about a special status for Nairobi. Yeah. And so there's a sense in which one cannot help but think that the Sonko may well have been the last governor of Nairobi. Absolutely. And uh, remember, our worry is, and probably it will be like this, after Tumaliza Mamba Corona will just restore to factory settings. Absolutely. Yes, Rudy, Rudy. Yeah, apparently yes. tulipopua. tulipopua. Kikomo. Okay. You know, wow. it, it is, it is also nice, Jamila, to look at this document because this is the, the source of contention. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at Article 9.2, Duration and Termination. That is page 11 of the Deed of Transfer. This deed of transfer of functions may only be terminated by the mutual written consent of both parties expressed in a common document. Tangoja sana. Mutual, eh? Tangoja, sasa. So it's time to take this home, and today we start with Yvonne's take.